So you have to realize that your, your job is not just a job. It's a, a connection to the whole world. Right? And if you think of your business that way, right? What kind of business do you have, Gustavo? I'm in sales. Sales of? Furniture. Furniture. Oh, so he makes us comfortable too. So he's to, for sale the furniture, he has to realize that he's making this person relax, watch his TV in a comfortable chair. So he's giving comfort, he's selling comfort. He's not selling furniture. He's selling comfort to the universe. So people have to buy that comfort from him. Now if they buy his chair and, and they can't sit well and everything, they're going to blame Gustavo. Right. So he has to make sure that the furniture is suitable for that person because he's selling comfort. Right? Now, look at the reverse of not thinking that way. What, what happens when the mortgage crisis, when everybody was doing the mortgage for the points, and all they were concerned about how much money they could make from the points of the mortgage. And look what happened. It fell right through, crushed. <coughs> so, the whole idea now, look what it did, it did the destruction to the real estate market. Because all they were concerned about, oh boy, six points, seven points, ten points. Now, okay, I will make ten points from this person if this person refinance. They were so into mortgage points, fees, and they raised the fees and everything. So the whole idea is that it's the same thing with job. Now, if you are not getting a job, right? It's got to be some karma. And I'll tell you what, if during your job you steal from the company, right, and you steal from, from the, from the, from the, from the uh, business, you brought home some stuff, right? Let's say, let's take the Gustavo's company. Let's say we hired somebody for Gustavo's company, and a person now decide that he's going to steal the chair when Gustavo was out. So he steals the chair and he um, takes it home, right? What do you think is going to happen to the person and the chair? He's not going to be comfortable in the chair. It's going to break. And it's going to break very quickly. It's going to break very quickly. And he himself now will not be comfortable with any job after that, right? So depending on the job, depending on the karma of that job, right? That's what will come back against you or lash back at you. So that is why we pray to Ganesh to get a comfortable job, to be part of this universe to be helping the universe, right? Now, if Kajal or Liz helps a child, and the child gets cured, and the child starts to do better, and now the child becomes a doctor or something, now, because of them, people are going to get healed. So you got to think universal. You got to think that you you are not you're not just one person living alone in this world. You are connected to everybody, and whatever you do is going to change everything. So. Can one person have more than one connection for your wise universe? Sure. You can have several careers. No, it all has to do with how your dedication is to, to the job. Okay? For example, what if I do two jobs, right? Right, that's two jobs will depend on what they, where they are, they will help you according to, to that. 
Now, I can always tell your attitude towards your job. Just add the number four to your life code. Right? And in your case, you're a knight, so with a four, it means that you're pretty much very high working. And yeah, dedicated. And with, with him, you're a five, right? Yeah. With a five and a four, it means you tend to relax a lot, take it easy with job. Yeah, but you're always changing things, changing things about the job. You, like, you, you get bored with, with, a, with a boring job. Yeah. Tell me, what about if your life code is four? I like Maria, but four uh, is the money that comes. For me? Yes, the money is important because she's an eight with four. Just take the number four and add it to your, to your birthday. Right? With Martha, number four add to, gives a six. Right? With your two. A lot of responsibility. And she gets frustrated with the job. A lot of responsibility, always frustrated. <laughs> right? You're one, right? Yeah. Yes. Person the nine. <laughs> <laughs> but four means that he likes to he likes to be the boss. Four four one five. So he likes to be the boss. Um, well, I, you know, there's a, there's a story behind that. I mean, if you, if you are, uh, I had a gentleman here, he was selling cell phones. So he was helping the people sell cell phones. So that means he was helping people come in the gate, right? So somebody offered him a chance to sell cigarettes very cheap. So he would make $10,000 a week on cigarettes. So it's a Spanish gentleman in mind. So he decided to leave the cell phone business and take the, um, the job to, the, the, the opportunity to make $10,000 a week on cigarettes. So he'd buy it very cheap from North Carolina or somewhere and sell it back in Miami and he made $10,000 on cigarettes. Um, his wife and, and he had a son and a daughter and they were doing very well um, when he was doing the cell phone business. But after he started the shooting business, his wife got cancer. And um, his son went to drugs. And his daughter ran away with a guy. So it's very important that you understand that as soon as you get into the uh, negative part of the universe, the negativity also comes to you. And a very famous one is liquor stores. I am so 100% on liquor stores, that every, every man who owns a liquor store loses his sex, sexuality, loses his ability to make children and so on. And I have established that very strongly. In other words, the husband starts to have problems with the wife and so on, in terms of love. So I had this one guy, uh, he came to me last year and he says, um, Swami, I, um, I want to buy a liquor store. So I said, you want to buy a liquor store? I said, I don't agree to that. He said, but it's cheap, it's got a good price on it and so on. So um, he went and he bought it without my advice. And he was very happily married and everything. And you know, and about six months into the liquor store, his wife and him started having problems. And he, um, his wife you know, wanted to leave him and so on. And then he, he realized, he remembered what I said. And then he, right away he went and sold the local store back again. And then after he sold it, I came back to me and said, Swami, I need your help. Help. Because exactly what you said happened. Because why? Liquor store and cigarettes and everything cannot benefit the world. So the people who go to connect with that will never gain the, the, the prosperity of the world. Now, I, I want all of you here to become millionaires in one year from now. So I'm giving you a chance to apply this knowledge. Right? Millionaire means money, peace of mind, and happiness. 
It just doesn't need money alone. Right? You are a millionaire when you have everything and you have peace of mind. And if you apply the life code properly, you can do that. So today we're going to talk about applying the life code. So the whole idea is that, as you can see, um, the gentleman um, realized it. And then he introduced a friend to me who, who owned three liquor stores. You want, you want to hear the story of the friend also. The friend was married uh, about three years ago. Um, and he's young, and he got married three years ago. And they have no have a ch child. So I asked him, I said, what's going on with you? You no children? They have not come together to, uh, since the three years ago. They have not come together to be each other. They haven't had a honeymoon. And they're still waiting to have a child. How can you have a child unless you have a young one? Right? So the whole idea now is that the liquor store, the tree liquor store, actually keeps them apart. Right? Now, yesterday, a couple came to see me, a young couple came to see me. And they knew me for about three years now. And they were doing very well. One of them was a five, and the other one was an eight. So he came and he didn't have a job. He couldn't find a job and so on. And his resume was all messed up. So I fixed it up three years ago, and he got a job. And then he bought a house. And he asked me what, what number of house was good. I said number eight. So he bought the house three years ago, number eight house, and he's doing very well. And so what happened now is that they came yesterday because um, they were fighting. They're quarreling. And the reason why I asked them to come is because he went and without my knowing and he wanted to file a divorce. So I said, and when the lady called me, the girl called me, I said, you know, you're not going to be divorced. You're going to waste time. Take your lawyer's money and give it to me. So come on and see me. So I made him come. Um, so I'm inquiring about why all of a sudden they're talking about divorce and all of these things. And I found out that they were buying a number one house. They were in contract with a house number one. So did you figure it out yet? Yes, six and nine. It's a six and nine. So they, they, started, they were in contract to buy the number one house and that's when the fight, fight started. So guess what the house is going to do to them now? It's going to create separation. So I asked him, I said, you know me three years, how come you didn't call me before you buy the house? Right? The, the, he said he thought it was a good house. And it was a good, good deal. Mm -hmm. And then you never get a deal like that again. I said, that's right. You, everything that's, 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 that has temptation is very easy to have. Everything that's evil tempts you much faster. Which is exactly what Satan said to Christ. Right? If you bow to me, all this will be yours. Right? But Christ said, man does not live by bread alone. Which is, man does not live by money alone. But by every word that comes out of his mouth. So, again, three years, they know me. This is so disappointing for me. Because you know me so long, you know the life code. I told you life code, but you haven't applied it. So you're going to keep having the problems, the life code. So this is what we want to talk about today. I want to see how you guys are applying the life code. 